Russia and North Korea put U.S. territory under nuclear threat. Putin's ally threatens America. Russia state television host Vladimir Solovyov, a vocal ally of the Kremlin, praised Russia and North Korea's new strategic partnership on the air and warned that, thanks to our technologies, the territory of the United States is under threat. According to Newsweek, Solovyov called a propagandist who previously had been under international sanctions made the comments on Russia's Channel One. A video of his comments was posted by Russian Media Monitor, a watchdog group founded by journalist Julia Davis. This new level of relations between Russia and the Democratic People's Republic of Korea is a direct threat, not only to Japan and South Korea, but also to the territory of the United States, Solovyov said. Recently, Russian President Vladimir Putin and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un signed a treaty pledging mutual military assistance in the event of an attack. According to the treaty text published by North Korean state media, the pact says that in an event of an invasion of Russia or North Korea, the other party shall provide military and other assistance with all means in its possession without delay. Solovyov, who has supported Putin's war in Ukraine, said on television, in the event of aggression, countries may come to each other's aid. Let me remind you, we're currently facing aggression. Let me remind you that military actions are taking place on our constitutional territories in the regions of Kherson, Zaporizhia, Donetsk and partially Luhansk. Solovyov's comments are controversial as those cities are in Ukraine. If I understand it correctly, thanks to our technologies, the territory of the United States is under threat, Solovyov said. According to a 2024 report by the Federation of American Scientists, Russia has the world's largest inventory of nuclear warheads, estimated at roughly 5,580, and North Korea is estimated to have about 50 nuclear weapons. This is an epic defeat of America's political elite, he said of the pact, and then urged China to join the family of nations that is fighting against colonialism. In an interview with Newsweek, Edward Verona, non-resident senior fellow at the Atlantic Council's Eurasia Center, emphasized skepticism toward Russian public media for reliable analysis. You can't rely on what you're hearing on Russian public media for any sort of serious analysis, Verona said. Anything that gets covered by Russian TV has to be seen from the perspective that they are talking to a domestic audience which does not have access by and large to outside information. It's used to bolster domestic support. Shoot him! Oh my god, baby. There's a goddamn boy at Butcher parking lot shooting a goddamn shotgun. They done went in the mad butcher shooting motherfuckers. He trying to shoot the, the police. A shooting at a grocery store in Fordyce, Arkansas on Friday morning left three people dead and ten wounded, state police said. Among the wounded are two law enforcers whose conditions is stable, police said in an afternoon news conference. The suspected shooter, identified as 44-year-old Travis Eugene Posey, was also wounded and taken into custody. There are no active threats to the community, Mike Hagar, the Secretary of Public Safety and Director of Arkansas State Police said at the news conference, without releasing the identities of other dead or wounded. The remaining civilian injuries range from non-life-threatening to extremely critical, he said. The shooting occurred about 11.30 in the morning at the Mad Butcher, Hagar said. Law enforcement responded immediately to the calls about the shooting and exchanged gunfire with the lone suspect. With the population 3,238 in 2022, Fordyce is about an hour's drive south of Little Rock in Dallas County. At least 234 mass shootings have taken place in the United States since the start of the year, according to data from the Gun Violence Archive. The United States has seen a spate of shootings in the past few weeks as the summer heat has escalated, with 21 mass shootings recorded by the Gun Violence Archive since last Friday. Oh my god, baby. Over the goddamn parking lot shooting a goddamn shotgun. They done she went in the mad butcher shooting motherfuckers. He trying to shoot the, the police. Carissa's over some dollars. Veteran, hero, marine hero, battle of way. I don't even understand. It doesn't make any sense to me. The guy that. We are live here at Mad Butcher, Fordyce, and there's shooting going on. 